So someone Twitch stopped my stream. Are we back? Please tell me in the chat if you can see this, because uh, I'm having some problems here with Twitch. How long were we away? Like uh, a few minutes? This is stupid, man. How can you... How can you stream like this? Why did you kick me off? Sorry, guys. This is stupid. I don't know what happened, maybe the connection broke? Whatever, yeah. Yeah, we're back. Right. Stupid. Okay. Let's continue, man. Um, so, we were working on... I was having great progress, to be honest. So I was working on the t on the redraw map when the zoom changed. Yeah, so I, I wanted to so I wanted to show you this show you guys this what I made here. You can now zoom and it actually kind of works. See. So I'll just make a quick zoom button, okay? Because uh, we can't click the zoom buttons on the page because they're uh, they're under they're in Google Maps, so they're under the canvas, and the canvas gets all the click events to draw on. So we can't use that one. Zoom buttons. It should be maybe bottom 100 pixels, right 50 pixels, background white, padding 1em. Display inline block maybe, padding 1em, text align center, font weight bold, font size 1em. Yeah, we're back. Okay, just lost 30, 30 viewers, but whatever. Okay. okay let's see next these uh, zoom buttons. I'm not seeing the zoom buttons, guys. Where are they? Okay, position fixed, yeah. Also for mobile, let's um 
Let's make everything overflow hidden. Yay, we get good working. Hello, name cheap. I lost access to my old phone number. These are the zoom buttons. So let's add a little border. This should be way smaller. So it's too small. That's okay. Uh, it's kind of like a little too big, so I like it. Okay, let's position it at the bottom right. Looks good. Okay, let's make them uh, behave the same as a uh, Google Maps zoom buttons. When they hover, they should get a little color, background color. Uh, okay. They should also have a pointer cursor. Okay, and then they should um, we should disable the zoom buttons on the map. So this hide zoom buttons Google Maps. Let's see how we do that. Oh, 17 people again. Yeah, we're coming back. Okay. Disabling the default UI Google Maps. No, I lost it. Google uh, Namecheap asked me for my full phone number to get into my account, but I lost my fucking number, so how the fuck did I know? They're definitely not gonna let me into my account, I'm sure. Disable default UI. Okay, I like this. Okay, now let's make a function to uh, get these uh, zoom buttons working. Let's put it here. Action zoom in.
That's how easy it is. Zoom in is. Should we have a limit? Yes, we should have a limit. If map zoom is bigger than. Uh, lower than 10, we can do anything. And if the map zoom is lower, bigger than 14, we don't do anything, right? Okay, let's see what works. Wow. Wow. Oh, oops. 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 Okay, zoom in, zoom in, zoom in, zoom out, zoom out, zoom out, zoom out, zoom out, zoom out, zoom out. Hmm, too much. Zoom in, zoom in, zoom out, zoom out, zoom out, zoom in, zoom in, zoom in. A little too much. Zoom out, zoom in, zoom in, zoom in. Yeah, this seems good. Okay. Amsterdam, zoom out, zoom out, zoom in, zoom in, zoom in. Yeah, seems good. London. Zoom out, zoom out, zoom in, zoom in. Guys, what if the what if we do it like from the zoom from the zoom level setting? Um, yeah, sorry. What if we from the start zoom level only you can go one up and one down. So that means one up. And one down. See, this works. One up. Oh, it's two up. <laughs> one down. It's two down. Okay. Weird. Uh, okay, start. Zoom in. Yes. Two miles. Yeah, this works. Deploy. Let me draw here. See, so this is the bug. Uh, the new user paths are not being added to the right array because otherwise you would have drawn them. So if we zoom, it all disappears. Right? Which is super sucks. Oh fuck, you can't see it! Sorry, I was in the wrong window! Oh my god! Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry guys, fuck in the wrong window. Okay. My bad, my bad, my bad. Big fucking bad. It's because this name cheap stuff, I'm doing the wrong thing. So anyway, I made these zoom buttons. <laughs> it's streaming the wrong window. I made these zoom buttons. Yes. Sorry guys, I'll just go back. I'll just recap what I did because you couldn't fucking watch it. So, uh, we had these Google Maps zoom buttons, but I couldn't click them because they were under the Google Maps, right? They were under the canvas, and I can only catch the canvas click. So I made these new zoom buttons in HTML that are here, and there's simply a div with a plus sign in it and a min sign, minus sign. See? And I simply inject like map zoom, and if it's, it lets people zoom in once and twice. And I added a redraw function, so here, which simply loads the user paths and then it draws them. So it clears the whole rectangle with every view change. So you can do this. This is actually clearing the rectangle and redrawing it completely. Because the canvas, if you draw the canvas, it will get smaller with the window and it will simply stretch everything. So you don't want that, you need to redraw it. It's crazy. So, um, so yeah, um, any questions? Diffs, you could should just use button. Woody fans, Woody fan or whatever. Why? Why should I use a button? Who gives a shit? Who gives a shit what, what the tag you use? 
I could use a, a li, a li tag, or whatever tag for it. I don't care. I could use the tag dick for it. Doesn't matter. Blah blah. It literally doesn't matter. Nobody sees it. Nobody should use or could use anything, dude. Seriously, it's that's a bad mentality. Okay, this is great. App starting to look good. One thing, um, mobile. How are we gonna do mobile view? Because right now it looks like this. So there's this code, uh, meta tag mobile to, you know, the, the whole viewport with thing. This is a meta tag you need to add to make it um, look good on mobile phones. So let's add it. What's going on, guys? Welcome aboard. It's that time of the week. Lance Morgan back on rinse and life for the so, next two hours. Got a this is pretty fucked. Today. Got loads of this is kind of nice, though. So this works. Max Chapman, Salado, um, Safras, but the, the... Plus many more. Also got Demarzo joining me for this week's guest mix at around at the top of the hour. We need to fix the Zoom buttons. Remember to keep interacting with the show. Send your tweets across to at RinseFM, at Lance Morgan DJ or at Morganic Music. Let's get into this something brand new from Night Shift. Track and title Jet Set. Uh, uh, let's make it view size dependent. So... This, Can't use a mouse. How are you gonna draw? Doesn't make any sense, Mister. Okay, zoom button. Just making sure the zoom button looks correctly on every device. It's kind of good size, 11 VW. And the parent is. Bottom 23 and right 5. Okay. Looks good. How's it looking? iPhone 6. Looks good. How's it looking? The Galaxy. Looks good. What about if we change it? Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> What's going on here, guys? What the fuck happened here? Um, can't we just make buttons that work everywhere? Come on. Do I have to? Okay. Anyway. This thing is also a big problem, like, uh, these, these buttons. Okay, I guess that, that works, if you do color picker, that, if, So we make a mobile uh, media carrier, media max with 800 pixel. From there we will 
to make the buttons on the top show up like this. So if we make it small then yeah. This zoom button is fucking insane. Why? Guys, I don't think I can do the main thing today because Namecheap just told me they cannot give me access to my account because I do not have any phone uh, access. Thanks, Buri Lama. Thanks for understanding. I want to just tie it to the main name, but Namecheap doesn't. Okay. Don't panic. Let's finish, focus on the mobile view. Kinda looks okay now. I mean, not great, but I guess usable. I guess the zoom button, we can make it again on like a media query. Make the zoom button a little bit smaller. Okay, the city, the color picker needs to be also kind of bigger, right? Bigger font. If, uh, what if we do one? Could work, right? Let's see why not. City selector. I think this works even better. And then if you do like this, it becomes... Just... <clears throat> One question, why does the... Why does the size of the font of the color picker change? But not the city selector at the bottom. We could just use emoji, right? Hmm. It's so stupid. Why does it change? Like the font literally becomes tiny. I don't have it anywhere written. It should become tiny. Font size, 1 EM. Oh. 
dude. There's some VW tag going on here that's just fucking everything. Because when I change the size, it. Oh. Ah, color pick font size 2 VW. Yeah, well, fuck that. Yay. See? Much better. Why is there a. Um... Why is there a border here? Yeah, okay, okay, okay. So obviously, we only want to do this active thing on from 800 pex pixels and up. Yeah, so Namecheap is uh, the two factor. It's tied to my Taiwanese SIM card, but I only had it for 30 days, and then they gave me a new SIM card, new, new phone number, and now I'm fucked because it's. Yeah, it's fucked. Still think it's easier to make a site on desktop and then change it for a uh, mobile later. It's not it's not how you're supposed to do things, but it works for me. Okay, where the hell do we put the Slogan now. Maybe. It should definitely be smaller. This looks good. Looks okay. Um, what's the opacity here? Come on. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Don't fucking change the opacity, sir. do that. Wait, we have that? No, we don't even use this. Fuck off. So, mobile view, how are you looking? It's good, 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 good. This is looking fucked up. C selector should be more in the bottom. Like it's, I guess. Yeah. It's a quick fix for this. No problem. Yeah. Hmm, doesn't seem to work very well. Uh. Hmm. 
I'm not super happy about this situation. Mm. Mm. Oh, this fixes it, yeah. Let's make it super tall. <laughs> the fuck's going on? I'm looking so good. Anybody who watches works at Namecheat, like please, please help me. Dude, I just completely fucked this whole thing up. What is happening here? Okay. Command C, Command C, Command C, Command C. Okay, this is fine, this works. Deploy. How you guys think it looks on mobile? Looks quite usable to me. Let's see. Wow, nice. Look at this, guys. Pretty cool, right? Okay, let me tweet this. Mm, so let me show show it and make a screenshot. One thing uh, on the mobile, it's still uh, scrolling. But only the... Only the map container, I guess, is scrolling. But it's really weird. So... Let's see if I can fix the overflow here. So I'm not really sure what's scrolling, but something is scrolling. See, something's still moving. That's weird. I think just the page, okay. Yeah, okay, so uh, I think the page is scrolling. And you can fix that by doing position fixed on the body and HTML, I think. But 
but that kills the absolute. What happened here? Disable scrolling mobile page. Max height percent. Max width percent. Okay, uploads. Nope, still fucking moving. How are we gonna fix that? Anybody in the chat know how to fix this? Yes, it's the bounce back thing, I think. Ah, oh, it's so annoying. Ugh. Okay, I'm just tweeting um, Just tweeting this thing <laughs> Show you my Twitter thing. One sec. Oh fuck! 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 Try on. Okay, I have to try on the body. Woody Lama says position fixed. Top zero, left zero, width hundred percent, height hundred percent. Okay. The body position fixed. Top zero, left zero, width hundred percent, height hundred percent. Okay. Uh, OBS. Guys, th the streaming program, I can't s see the streaming program. Oh, there it is. Okay. Add window. And then I add friends. Friends, friends, where's the messenger? Here we go. Okay, just, we need to tweet this fucking thing. Mobile smartphone. Mobile version works. Uh, map, 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 map. Where's the fucking map emoji? Dude, do you guys have the same problem? You, ne you can never find an emoji. Like I literally have to Google. Emojis, because looking them up is such a pain. Map Emojipedia. For my friend Jeremy, he owns that site. Sick. Okay, tweet it. Okay, uh, fucking feedback moment. What do you think, uh, guys? What's uh? Let me see if that scroll problem has been fixed. Nope. 
And cool thing is, oh, let me deploy. No, let me do check the local. When I do, see, when I do position fix on the body, the Google Maps doesn't load anymore. No, it does. Oh, sorry, I'm really mistaken. My bad. Oh, this doesn't work anymore. Oh, this works. What the fuck, man? It's all a shit show. Yay! Thanks, dude, you fixed it. Okay, one buck remaining. We can do it tomorrow. Uh, so if I draw, make everything red, then I zoom in, my red is gone. So it's not it's not drawing our our own uh, coordinates properly. So we need to do it tomorrow. It works, man. It works with llama, yeah. Okay, let's remove this thing from the my Twitter. Uh, sorry. Okay. So um, I need you. I need your guys' feedback. Uh, one second. Get some coke. One sec. And what do you guys think of the whole uh, app now? Yeah, I changed my Twitter window, sorry. No, the page won't go beyond 100%. This is it's like a it's like a mobile app, right? It should behave like a mobile app. Um, I'm having this thing where the, the, the cursor is not cleaning properly. Uh, if I drag it too long, it's not in the, in the right location anymore. Actually, it looks like it's halving. Maybe I can show you. I start here. I think because canvas, because it's retina, maybe? So left, right is proper, but top and bottom is kind of off. It's kind of weird. It's very interesting. It's actually like showing proper values because the center of Amsterdam is indeed tourism. Then what I didn't know was that there was a business area around it, and then the hips area. So it's a buffer zone of business between the tourists and the hipsters. And then outside there is green of rich people. Very interesting, dude. It's, and it's, it's actually working, this fucking app. It's actually working. It's pretty insane. I'm really... Dude, I'm super happy that it's working. It's, it's amazing. I'm fucking amazed. I want to make the zoom level a little bit more, uh, more freedom. You can zoom... I want to zoom in, like zoom out like twice, and zoom in twice. So yeah, this is Amsterdam. Interesting, like when you zoom out, um, it shows it even more average, and it shows Amsterdam as a city of students, students on the on the, on the outside, and hipsters and rich people, and that's exactly what Amsterdam is. Like, it's not a lot of business people. 
Tourism is there, but it's also kind of small. No, that's bullshit. Tourism is big in Amsterdam, but... The people's perception is that not that it's like a big part, I guess. So... That's really cool. Let's look at London. London hipster, 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 and business. That's true. Um, okay. I'm gonna share it with my friends on Telegram. They're like a uh, non startup friends. And they're from Amsterdam, so I'm gonna ask them like what they think. You color the map of your mobile, it uses the average dominant values. Uh, Okay. 36 people watching. Amazing. Thanks, Woody Lama. Woody Lama says, considering it took this amount of time, impressive. Yeah, dude, I'm fucking impressed too. It's only this is only, this is the first session, and every session is like two or three hours. So we spend maybe six hours, and we have a working half. It's uh, very very happy. Problem is, we don't have a fucking domain name because Namecheap locked me out of my accounts. Hey, hey, Lucas says, it's also working in Berlin. I live in Berlin and it's pretty accurate. Wow. But some parts are also kind of mixed categories because of, because of gentrification. Atomis XP says, hey, there, so what does this app do? Well, I'll send you a link and then you can check out yourself. So what does this app do? We've been building it for the last two days um, and live streaming on Twitch. What this app does is it's it's a crowdsourced painting app over a map with colors that uh, show like different types of people that live in the, in the city. And so let's say you you know that area is like hipster, right? Then you um, you will draw a yellow, and then you say, okay, but I also know where the business people are. So you click business people suits and you draw suits, right? So this all goes to the server, and then the server calculates. Okay, there's six people that say that. You know, Amsterdam South is hipster, but there's seven people that say it's uh, business. Okay, then it's business. So it will show the color of the business and it will show that. Then somebody comes in, two people come in, they're like, nah, it's really not business, it's really hipster. So they draw twice over it, and then it becomes hipster again because it's like eight values versus seven. You know what I mean? So it will take the dominant value of that GPS block. So every city is divided in these grids, kind of like little dots. You can show the dots if you want. Um, there. You just need to make the brush size really small. So see these dots? I can make them bigger for you. See this? Uh, these are dots. So every city has a grid. And um, and you can draw on it. So let's say your suits. These are all these different parts, right? But it gets put into the grid. Look. Bam. So, and then if somebody else, if you draw, draw over it, you know, it will draw over it. So the point is that um, you can see in every area, in every city, where to go. Like we can categorize an area. Yeah, so the data comes from users, and the more data you have, the probably the more accurate you have. So, so even if somebody draws a dick, which everybody keeps drawing dicks on my app, it doesn't matter because only one or two dicks is fine if there's like a hundred uh, proper values. And that's you know that's the thing about the hive mind, like the, the power of the crowd. Um, if you let two hundred people, um, sorry, if if like a, you drop loose, you drop like a box of matches. If you have 200 people who you ask uh, how many matches are there, they're all kind of off. But then, um, 
the average of their of their uh, answer is fucking almost close to the reality. That's like nature. It's like a natural law. So I was thinking, if you apply this to a map, how cool would that be? So this is my thing. So so we have a working app now. It's fucking cool. I'm fucking proud and excited. Just wondering how accurate it is, because uh, is this really a tourist area? This is definitely a tourist area, come on, everybody knows the wharf, right? I didn't know, I said the funny thing is I've been to all these tourist places when I was living in, in uh, San Francisco. I had no idea. Wow, it's actually working. Really cool. Sorry, I'm like circle jerking myself, but uh, go on. Um, thanks Atomless XP says this is great man keep up the good work thank you I'm very happy too even Natoria says excellent concept this is how a city geotagging should be done thank you I think opacity should be lower you're right let's make opacity a little bit lower Yeah, this is bad, much better, right? All right, sorry to whine. I just wish we had our own domain name, but you know, one day. <laughs> uh, okay, so what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna I'm gonna finish the stream, and then I'm gonna sit with Namecheap for an hour to try and get X to my account again. And then, um, if you're on Twitter, you wanna help me? Tweet, <laughs> tweet it, tweet at Namecheap. Give at levels AO please access to his account. Because we need this hood maps thing up, right? We need the power of the crowds. So and then I'll go into support and then hopefully the social media people will check name cheap. will check Twitter to get all his tweets. Oh, levels needs to be in this account. And then I'll be like, yeah, and then they'll kinda like, you know, help me. So any last things you guys wanna say and then um because I'm gonna shut down the stream. So tomorrow, what are we gonna do tomorrow? Tomorrow, hopefully we have the domain running. Um, maybe we can launch the product hunt, why not? Would that be cool? Launch the Hacker News, product hunt, Reddit. Reddit data is beautiful, right? That's a subreddit for the front page. And this would be amazing, because we would have a startup live streamed over Twitch from day one, two, and three, today's day three. We would have launched it by day four or five, like next level speeds and we could blog about it and shit and you guys were all part of the whole thing right even Atoria says no seriously till now it's even too precise or too vague yeah yeah right dude cuz here which is what is cool area what is hip area in Amsterdam you get on all these stupid websites look Lonely Planets, Area Guides. Uh, no, where's the map, see? Um, area Guides, it should just be an app, right? Ugh, no. And then you have, oh my god, you have root maps. And now I know immediately where to go and where not to go. So yeah. Fuck guys. I think we got something we got something here, man. This is fucking crazy. We actually got something. I'm so happy. I'm a little hyped. It's because of the sugar from the coke. So if you're a journalist or you're a blogger, um, 
Thanks, Ivanatoya. Yay. Circle jerk. <laughs> Are there any uh, critical points like devil's advocate why this app sucks? Can we figure out there's some reasons that it sucks? How would you monetize it? Strange Quirks asks. I don't know. How can we monetize it? We can add some ads. I mean, we could, I don't know. It's always useful for Nomad List as like a tab on the city, but I, I want it to have it, I want it to be the, its own product, so. How can we, how can we monetize this? Like, sell to like Lonely Planets? And bedding or something? Different stuff, pencils. Yeah, that could work. Yeah, dude, I love Budapest. I'm gonna add Budapest too, but uh... Like, all cities will be on there at some point. Like a drop down window, right? Hype, 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 hype. Okay. What she asks says, thinking about monetization after creation, seriously, wow, what do you mean? What do you mean, Hoshis? I'm gonna wait till Hoshis tells me what he means. Even Atoria says monetizing, well, you can create an ad system that uses the same area logic, like place highlight in terms of activity types. So an ad system that uses the same area logic? Ah. So like you click, you can filter by... Can you explain more? And Hachis, please explain what do you, why you say thinking about monetization after creation. No man, I, I mean you should kind of think about monetization before, but I don't need, I don't need more money now. So for me, this is like a fun project. So even Toria says, if I'm a hipster and I've already painted the area I like, probably I would also be interested in places to go and buy stuff. Yes, we need filters. Ah, okay. So you wanna maybe in because for me it's all about the hipster. I love, I like hipster areas. Like I like coffee and cute coffee shops. So maybe like uh, having spots in those places. Maybe hey, it's a map. Why don't you can you can advertise on a map of a marker, right? You can just set a marker. It's like oh yeah, this is like a little coffee shop there. We can do that, and then tourists can use it, and they will immediately go to the place that are advertised there, and it's just a marker, so it doesn't interfere with the functionality. You can click the marker and then the ad pops up and you see which place it is, like coffee shop, restaurant. And the marker can cost like $250 per month. And then you have four markers for a city, or eight, which is like $2,000 a month per city. You have 10 cities, 20K a month. Bam. Ideas lit itself. I feel like kind of too old to use the word lit, but whatever. Who gives a shit? Yeah, dude, I love imagine like imagine never getting a city in one mood. Even Atoria says, yeah, I would love to do that. Pokemon Ghost Spots, no, not that. <laughs> Guys, you, you're so cool. You have the best ideas. Amazing. Okay, so tomorrow again, what we're we gonna do? Uh, domain name, again. Um, Submit to Product Hunt Reddit Hacker News. Write a blog about it. We can all do this during the live stream, right? It'd be sick. Yeah. So um, I'm gonna sit here again alone in the co but I'm gonna miss you guys because it was really fun. It feels really weird to talk to a computer alone in the co space at 2 a.m., 3 a.m. Oh, fuck, it's almost 4 a.m. But it was really fun. So anyway, I love you guys and girls and uh, non-gender specific people. Uh, see you next time, tomorrow. Tomorrow I'll probably stream let's say four hours before now. So yeah, tune in. See you guys. Peace out. One love, man. Peace.